back at it again and listen fam um i don't mean to harp on things but i think this is important to talk to you you guys about um i was checking my analytics um and i'm, I'm gonna keep this kind of short but i was checking my analytics and i realized something something very interesting and weird going on with my analytics right when i first started this journey I was looking at my YouTube, uh, my, my views from, you know, YouTube recommendations, you know, YouTube recommending my videos to you guys and other folks. And they were just astronomical. I mean, they were, they, they were absolutely through the roof. And I'm sure you guys can guess where I'm going with this right now. I checked them today. And you want to know what's been going on with my YouTube recommended views? They've dropped drastically. I mean, been cut in more than half, just randomly. It's weird, you know? I, I I noticed, you know, some of the views were down a little bit across the channel, you know, and I didn't pay too much attention to it. I'm like, ah, maybe people just don't like the videos anymore. And then I started thinking, hmm, but why all of a sudden, though? And then I found it. YouTube isn't recommending my videos as much as they were anymore. Like, by more than half which is just interesting to see. And so I I guess I, I would like to ask you guys to help me share these videos more than ever, all right? Because obviously, clearly, YouTube doesn't want these videos to get out to, you know, the, the mainstream public or the public at large. So I'm going to need your help in sharing all of these videos that, you know, I drop on a daily basis. Because without you guys, I mean, basically nobody would almost see these videos. I mean, it's it, it's incredible the the drop in recommendations that that YouTube has done on this channel. It, it, it's it's crazy. But what can I do? You know, except for you know, make you guys aware of it, let you guys know about it, and um, ask you guys to help me out with it. All right. But anyway, we got an interesting story here with uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, and of course. <laughs> There's been quite a few funny clips that have come out pertaining to Lori Lightfoot and everything that's going on in Chirac. Yeah, we don't call it Chicago. We call it Chirac. It, 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 is, it is like a war zone there. I mean, it is absolutely insane in Chicago right now, if you didn't know. I do not recommend visiting Chicago at this moment in time, but I guess if you are going to visit it, you better visit it now because come January 1st, uh, it's, it's going to be a whole whole lot worse but um recently a big ceo has come out and spoke out against chicago and the job that Lori lightfoot has been doing and um to say the least she wasn't very happy about it <laughs> but of course all she has to do is fix the city right so that's what we're going to be diving in today. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And uh, like I spoke about earlier, please, 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 it is of the utmost importance that you guys help me share these videos across all social media, Twitter, Instagram, True Social, uh, 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 Bastion. I mean, all the social media places there are. You can copy the link down below. It's the arrow button and you can paste it anywhere. If you have a blog, all right, you can post it there. I don't care. You can send it via text message, via Facebook Messenger, all right? It, it, it doesn't matter, but please help me in sharing these videos because, like I said earlier, YouTube doesn't want these videos to get out. I mean, it's clear as day. Anyway, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, let's jump right on into this video and check out this video here from... Uh, by the way, make sure you guys go subscribe to... Uh, Ovation Eddie 2. I'll leave the original link down below. All right, let's dive in. McDonald's is our kind of place. It's such a happy place. Half, 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 happy place. A clean, half, happy place. There is a general sense out there that our city is in crisis. It's more difficult today for me to convince a promising McDonald's executive to relocate to Chicago from one of our other offices than it was just a few years ago. Any remark? Oh, yeah, I, I, I bet it is. Because let me tell you something. I ain't going to, I ain't going to Sh Chirac. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hey, 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 yo, we got a business meeting in Chicago. All right, well, I'm going to catch y'all via Zoom. <laughs> Seriously. I'm so serious. 
if, it, if there's a business meeting in Chicago that I need to attend, I'm going to catch y'all on Zoom, all right? I, I'll be in the meeting just, just via Zoom. <laughs> so I'll be there, but I won't be there, you know what I mean? <laughs> I won't physically be there, I, I guess I should say. <laughs> Let's continue on with this video, though. Any remarks uh, to counter the McDonald's CEO who says people are afraid to come back to the headquarters? Well, I think that um, what would have been helpful was for the McDonald's CEO to educate himself um, before he spoke. Um, All seriousness? And th th this is no joke. Like, I'm not, I'm not even trying to make light of it because I know someone who, who passed away um, due to this and, and some other illnesses as well. But does Lori Lightfoot have Parkinson's? Like all jokes aside, I'm so serious. All jokes aside, because this isn't the first time I've seen her just like, it's not like shaking like hardcore, but if you look closely, like she's, she's like very subtly like, her face is like just just watch the video watch it closely watch it closely hold on let me let me rewind this back a little bit Donald CEO who says watch. people are afraid to come back to the headquarters well I think that um right there you see it would have been helpful was for the McDonald's CEO to it? educate himself um before he spoke um I'm gonna look and am I tweaking all jokes aside, we, we, we can get back to the jokes after this, but like, just, just a genuine question. This is this is not me making fun of it because like I said, I know someone personally who who, who, who dealt with this, um, you know, in their last days. And um, obviously that's not, it, it's not something um, that is great to watch someone go through. It really isn't. I mean, honestly and truthfully, this is, this is not me joking. This is me being serious as, as, as much as, you know, you know, we, we, we want to rag on uh, Lori Lightfoot and, and we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. But right now, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, that's, just some, that's just something that I noticed. Uh, but um, let's jump back into the video and actually pay attention to what's being said. Any remarks uh, to counter the McDonald's CEO who says people are afraid to come back to the headquarters? Well, I think that um, what would have been helpful was for the McDonald's CEO to educate himself um, before he spoke. Um, I'm going to look in, uh, on uh, productive engagement and not look in the rearview mirror. Um, today, uh, there's an article that I think is posted that, that prints a letter uh, from the head of World Business Chicago uh, that lays out um, in exacting detail all the good news, uh, economic news about what's happening in our city. Um, so I'm going to focus on those things and not the comments of the CEO of McDonald's. What? So you're not going to focus on big corporations potentially leaving your city? That makes a whole lot of sense. You're not going to focus on the fact that your city is literally nicknamed Chirac. You're not going to focus on that? Hmm, that's very, very interesting there. Uh, you know, if it were me, I mean, I'm focusing on that heavily. We need to fix this, this issue immediately. We can't have big corporations leaving the city. We already have enough issues as it is. That's, I mean, that on top of everything else, that's the last thing that we need. What do we need to do to keep you in the city? All right. Obviously, there's crime that has to be addressed. Let's address it. I don't know, but I, who am I? I'm, 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 I'm not the mayor, so, you know, if I was, but uh, it'd be different. Everywhere I go, I'm confronted by the same question these days. What's going on in Chicago? In Chicago, where crime is up 38%, business <laughs> leaders are speaking out. Ooh, 8% for Sam. Hold on, let me move my big head out of the way. Violent crime causing corporate fallout in major cities. Yes, sir. 8% in San Fran. 35 in New York. Almost 40% in 
in Chicago, almost 40 percent. And we talked about uh, the new law that's going into effect in Chicago on January 1st, 2023 where basically a lot of these criminals are going to be released right back out onto the streets. Instead of keeping them behind bars as, you know, where they should be, they're going to get booked and released back out onto the streets. And you know what a lot of these folks are going to do? Continue doing what they what, what got them in that place in, in the first place. The criminals. That's what they do. You throw them back out on the streets, you, what you think? Oh, well, you know what? This city let me out. You know, I'm, I'm not going to do any more crime. No, that's not the way these folks think. <laughs> they could be like, oh, these guys are idiots. They just let me back out. Cool. I'm going to go get the person who snitched on me. Or I'm going to go get this other person that I know who has money or whatever the case is. <sighs> if y'all are in Illinois, please leave immediately. Especially if you're in Chirac. Get out of there ASAP. In any surrounding cities of Chirac leave get as far away from Illinois as you possibly can because you don't want to be anywhere near that stuff because I think also I think that's going to bleed out into other surrounding areas and possibly states so uh yeah get away and get away now but anyway let's continue on this is crazy 40%. Look at that. Headquartered in Chicago, McDonald's CEO Chris Kemskinski said crime is changing the psyche of his employees and customers. Any remarks uh, to counter the McDonald's CEO who says people are afraid to come back to the headquarters? It's such a happy place. McDonald's is our kind of place. Your kind of place. <laughs> So, uh, there you have it. No true answer to solve the issue. Oh, I'm only going to deal with people that uh, kiss my feet and have nice things to say about Chicago. I, come on. Come on. And I, and I think that's part of the problem with uh, a lot of these politicians and, 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 and folks in, in some of these different positions like mayors. They're lying to themselves. They're lying to themselves. Not only to the general public, you know, but to themselves as well. If Lori Lightfoot can sit there and say there is not an issue with crime in her city, she is fooling herself. Fooling herself. Oh, well, there's there's a lot of great things going on. I'm sure there's something great about Chicago. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's something good that happened. You know what I mean? Going on in Chicago. But what about all of this bad? Just because there's a few good things going on doesn't mean you shouldn't address the bad that's going on as well. Once again, your city is nicknamed Chirac for a reason. CEOs of big corporations are speaking out for a reason. It's not that people, okay, maybe, maybe some people don't like Lori Lightfoot, but it's not just because everyone hates Lori Lightfoot. That's not the case. They're saying this city is being run terribly. All right, so fix the issue. That's all. If Lori Lightfoot was fixing the issue, and, and, and crime was on the decrease, people wouldn't be ragging on her so much. But she's too focused on, oh, well, this person is criticizing the city. They need to do their research. Like, There's an issue. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I, 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 I don't understand this type of stuff. But like I said, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and please share. Make sure you share. Copy the link and, I don't know, text it to your neighbor. I don't care, but, man, it, it's just sad what's going on, uh, you know, with my analytics right now. It it, it really is. It, it, it was crazy to, to see. But, anyway, um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace and love. I'm out.